agent prevents threats in two steps, detection and remediation. Sandblast Agents' forensic analysis is triggered as soon as a threat is detected. The forensics report generated by Sandblast Agent includes all details, which may be required by a CISO, security admin, or an incident responder. The HTML formatted report can be best viewed with Chrome or Firefox browser. Report has various sections. The overview section provides executive summary of the detailed report. You can see the affected user, computer, and operating system, when the malicious incident was detected, and which software blade detected the malicious file. After learning what was affected and when, next things any investigator would like to know, such as how did it enter the system? The status of remediation. Is the infection still present or removed? Any business impact? What is the damage done? Each and every suspicious activity, what was going on in the system, full incident details, entire chain of events to analyze further to adjust security policy for future. The sample forensics report shown here is for CTV Faker ransomware. The general section of the report shows additional details about incident and how it was detected. The entry point section of report traces back the attack to the user action. The remediation section shows the action taken by Sandblast agent if it is configured to automatically remediate the threat by deleting the infected files. The business impact section shows the files changed or deleted by malware. The suspicious activity section provides details of all suspicious system events that can be directly attributed to the attack. These events are labeled and categorized in order of level of suspicion and has brief description of its action. For example, ransom message creation is a highly suspicious, while drop script is less suspicious event. Incident details section displays a tree of processes explaining how each event is related to each other. Investigator can get deeper detail of individual process by clicking on it. Mouse hovering on process shows you the path of file and execution arguments. For example, ctbfaker.exe with process ID 3336, which actually started the attack, downloaded a bunch of files related to WinRAR and also downloaded a few batch and Visual Basic script files. Related to this on the incident detail map, we can see that four copies of wscript.exe are now launched with different Visual Basic scripts created by CTB Faker. It is the first wscript process with process ID 2472 that eventually leads to the WinRAR process with process ID 4312 encrypting and deleting the user file. You may want to look at the execution argument, which reveals the damage intended by the ransomware.